Good morning. Day one niner. This will be in honor of my brother Jeff. The infamous number 19. Great baseball player. Great brother. At any rate, I uh, inadvertently slept in this morning, which I think is excusable after about two and a half weeks of early get-ups. I think my body needed a little rest, and so I, I was a little bit late, which resulted in some good and bad. Good, I got to see that bear in the road. That was kind of fun. But I think you understand probably what the bad is. There's somebody in the area I wanted to hunt. Well, I'm heading down a ridge I've never been on, which is always kind of fun to discover new ground, you know, and it's beautiful in here, visually and elky. So there's something about going downhill that's nice. However, <laughs> so after, you know, all these years of bow hunting, I think yesterday might have been the first time that I can think of that I had a bull come in quietly. So I'm just sitting here pondering my, my journey, my goal. As most of you know, although there are some new members, I've been bow hunting for about <clears throat> 22 years and haven't killed a bull yet. This is year 23, thus season 23. A couple years ago, I got the uh, the notion to document this journey and share it with you guys. Take you along with me for the ride, so to speak. But when I started, I kind of had some goals in mind. You know, I wanted to do it on video I wanted to do it kind of in my backyard so to speak in all this country that I've hunted my whole life I wanted to do it solo so the expectations the bar I set kind of silly kind of silly for a guy who's never killed a bull But I'm having a hard time backing off those those goals. You know, you set the bar, you don't you don't feel good about lowering it just so you can meet your goal. And yet I evaluate my goal every day. And the reason I bring this up is because so many of you guys have been amazing, so kind, so thoughtful, offering to 
come along and call, offering to take me along on your hunts. Just real super generous things. And I, I'm always having to, uh, to share that I have this crazy goal, and so I turn you down. My heart's still set on that. But as I inch forward in this season and continue on this incredibly fun journey I'm on, I'll continue to reevaluate and think, consider. So I just wanted to say that and say thanks. Thank you. Okay, enough of the chatter. I'm going to get back up and keep hunting. That was my first bugle with this tube. Nice road down here. Oh boy. You ever been on one of those hunts? Hey look, on the onyx, there's a road right there. Uh, I'm on that road right now. To be young again. <sighs> Keep following this road. <laughs> There's my road. <laughs> this puts a new definition on the term cat road shuffle. Ugh. And that bums me out about my arrow. Dang it, I was just excited to share with you guys that I made it through that whole whole hike with all four. And I looked down and <laughs> one of them's broke. Darn it. Oh. oh well, I'm almost to the trail. The main trail. Another couple miles back to the truck. And then I'm heading home. I gotta fuel up and hopefully have enough energy for this evening, I'd like to drop down onto the other side where that bull was the last couple days and see if I can get in on him. But anyways, ooh, fun stuff. So I've hiked in here the last part of the day to check on the bull that I call Bashful. He's the one that came in a couple days ago and shied away. And I'm pretty sure he's the same bull yesterday that came in quiet. And as I kind of finish up day 19 here, just to kind of revisit and touch base on my goal that I talked about today, I want to make sure that my goal to kill an elk and the stipulations I've put on myself that they're not prideful it's not about me it's not selfish I hope it's just me wanting to accomplish this task in a certain way and experience the thrill that so many of you have experienced as a coach I understand and I've seen how valuable it is for teams and individual athletes to set big goals and then to jump into the journey 
and go for it and prepare and give effort and give focus to that goal. And whether they become champions or not, that journey, that commitment, that effort to that goal is what's the most valuable thing. That's where they come out the other end. Champions or not champions, they come out better people, higher character. And that's the same for this crazy bow hunting for elk. I've got a big goal. For me, it's it seems almost insurmountable. And yet, just the journey of it, it's such a joy. It's so fun. So I just appreciate you guys coming along and hopefully we can celebrate here in the next week and a half because we're running out of time. We're in the third quarter. <clears throat> but on that note, it's getting dark. Day 20 is tomorrow. So God bless. Happy hunting to all you guys out there who are still tromping around the woods trying to fill your bow tag. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>